Welcome back, YouTubers. Today, um, I have another in our series of bullpup shotguns. This is the Bullpups Unlimited kit for the Mossberg 500 590. Um, consult their website on what what will fit yours uh, your shotgun. They do have a couple restrictions on on ribbed sights and a few other things. Um, this one per happens to be a former Mossberg Persuader, 20 inch barrel, seven round magazine capacity. Um, very similar to my Slugster, um, 20 inch barrel seven round capacity but my slugster tends happens to have uh, rifle sights um, and police style wood this is my baby here so overall very impressed with the ingenuity in this kit um, quality I think is very is right up there there's a couple little little nitpicky things about this um, one Thing is a little more than nitpicky. Um, I'm not too particularly happy with the length of pull on this. Um, I'm six foot two, long arms, and I like my shotgun's length of pull in the vicinity of 13 to 13.5 inches. This one comes in, or if I'm pushing it, I'm right at 14 and a half inches. So we've got an extra inch that I think either a redesign of this cap or a shorter um, or a shorter um, butt pad could fix um, but I and I think that's something I'm actually going to undertake here is modifying that uh, I'm just not too too particularly happy with the length of pull it, it's up there with the fat Mossberg factory bullpup and that's the biggest complaint I have about that one too there were some uh, other uh, there are installation videos already. The Bullpups Unlimited installation video covers everything about installing this, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, another issue that I fixed with it is it comes with these um, these tabs here for mounting a sling. Um, I don't really like them that much. Um, it looks like they would fit a hook style and they would actually mount from this direction. I just kind of threw them in there just to just so I don't lose them. Um, there's one slot in the middle for a single point sling, which I'm not a fan of. And these, I think, are a little too close together for a two point sling. So what I did with mine was I just checked and made sure that there were no issues with the interfering with the action. And I mounted a 10 32nd plate on the back with a 10 32nd sling swivel and mounted this on the on the uh, right side. Um, I prefer to have my sling over the butt pad. It just helps maneuverability for me. Um, and then I just went with the way I had my factory um, sling swivel. Um, some caps have a ha are threaded for the standard 10 32nd um, sling swivel studs. I drilled and tapped mine for the side, so my sling fits just perfectly side mounted, and I'm happy with that. It comes with an run of the mill A2 type grip. Um, I happen to have an ergo, an extra ergo laying around. Um, it's not my favorite grip, but I do like it better than the A2. Um, I went ahead and mounted the rail section that comes with it and put some covers I had laying around on it. Um, I'm very happy with the quality of this pump. At first when you look at it on paper um, it, it seems like it's a little bit of a flimsy design um, but those stainless inserts he has into the nylon or whatever plastic material this is seems to be pretty sturdy. There's a little stabilizing piece on the front and you can see that in the assembly video. Um, very happy with the quality of the pump. I think that's nice. Another thing that's kind of nitpicky is that it does have a plastic rail. I think um, it would be a little better served if this were just molded flat with some stainless steel inserts and then a separate aluminum or magnesium rail was bolted to that. I think it would still take a whole lot to damage this rail or your optics, um, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen. Um, but I think that would that's a little nitpicky thing too. So the biggest, biggest issue I have is length of pull on this. Um, other than that, as long as your shotgun that you 
add to this kit is fully reliable, it will continue to be fully reliable. Um, uh, I don't know the gentleman's name that made this, but kudos to you. You did a wonderful job with this kit. Um, what doesn't fit me or, or please me doesn't mean it won't please the hell out of somebody else. Um, so the, the nitpicky things I have, which, you know, the biggest among them is the length of pole. Um, the nitpicky things are just that. This kit is absolute quality. Um, the only other issue I had was the... Uh, has a split trigger, kind of like the Glock type trigger safety. So both halves of this have to be depressed in order for it to fire. My molding had a little bit of flashing on there, but a little quick file work took care of that. Um, the trigger pull on this, yeah, I think I forgot to go over this um, in some of my other videos. So I've got, I've done reviews on the Mossberg Factory Bullpup, the kel KSG, the U UTAS UTG-15 and this. So let's rate triggers real quick. The most horrible out of the group, which but it's still very usable, is the Mossberg Factory Bullpup. There's a lot of slop in it to begin with, but the reset on it's nice. And what we mean by reset is when you hold the, if you fire, hold the trigger back, pump it, and let it go forward until it resets and clicks, the reset's really nice on it. It's just there's a lot of slop for that initial trigger pull. Um, the next worst or next best, I think, is this Bullpups Unlimited. There's a little bit of slop in there, but none of none of these, even the Mossberg Factory, even even you know, I'm saying that one's the worst of the bunch, but even that Mossberg Factory trigger pull, it's very usable for a shotgun. It's this isn't a long range precision rifle. Um, it's a bullpup shotgun. So next best, I think, is the is this bullpup Sun Limited. It has a real nice crisp reset to it, and I love it. I think it I think it works just fine. My next favorite is the Caltech KSG. Again, minimal slop and a nice reset and a nice positive trigger pull. Um, the best actually out of the bunch is that Utas UTG15, and that may be just because I bought that used and it's already been run through a ringer a little bit, but so far I that it gets the slight nod over the Keltec and over the other two shotguns. Um, best of all of them, if we're going to get outside of the bullpup realm, is my uh, my factory um, Mossberg 500 Slugster. Best trigger. Doesn't have the extra linkages and everything's, you know, um, so that, that, that one's going to be tough to beat. But again, it's not a long range precision rifle. Uh, we're not shooting at a thousand yards. Any of the triggers are fine. Uh, the Bullpups Unlimited is actually just fine. It's just not as good as some of the other ones. Um, if you have a Remington 870 or Mossberg 500 laying around and you want to make it a little bit more of an effective um, home defense shotgun, pick up one of these kits. The kit actually cost me more than either of my Mossberg shotguns. Used Mossbergs are, are pretty inexpensive. Um, and that's um, not getting into the 870 versus Mossberg. Um, I have friends asking me all the time, what shotgun or what this or that am I going do I need to buy? And I always tell them the difference between an 870 and a Mossberg is a comparable model 870 versus a Mossberg, you're going to spend 50 to $75 more on the 870 than you would on the Mossberg. But if either one of them were handed to me in a zombie apocalypse, I would not snicker at either one of them. Um, I, and I, I, uh, so I encourage you to get out and shoot. Um, thanks for watching my videos and thanks for subscribing. Again, it's been a little while since I did a few, so I'm going to put a, I'm going to have a whole bunch of them up. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on this one up, coming up. That's just my baby. Um, enjoy. Be safe. Um, have a good one. You take care.